question is write balanced chemical equation for the reaction there are reactions given to us and we have to write a balanced equation for them a part is calcium hydroxide plus carbon so the reactants means before arrow this is a arrow okay so the uh, things which are written before arrow are known as reactants so calcium hydroxide and carbon dioxide are reactants and product will be what it will be calcium carbonate and water so first of all let's start doing it what is given to us it is calcium hydroxide plus carbon so let's start making the formula of calcium hydroxide so calcium is what it is ca and hydroxide is what it is oh valency of ca is 2 and oh is 1 we should know the valencies for forming the equation so that we don't have to learn it we just need the concept okay so the formula which is made here it will be what ca when multiplied by 1 will be what ca and oh when multiplied by 2 will become caoh whole twice it will become caoh whole twice okay now caoh whole twice it is what it is an aqueous solution means uh, it is dissolved in water plus carbon dioxide is what it is co2 and it is a type of gas so we'll write g in the bracket in bracket we are writing the states now after arrow what is written it is calcium carbonate now let's see how we are going to make the formula of calcium carbonate calcium is ca and carbonate is what it is co3 the valency of calcium is 2 and the valency of carbonate is also 2 so 2 will be cancelled by 2 okay so the formula which means 1 will be left after 2 will be cancelled by 2 so for what we will have we will have ca co3 okay so we we don't have to show that we are cancelling. I'm just telling the concept here. CaCO3 will be formed and it is known as calcium carbonate and it is a solid. And so what is released after that? Water is released and water is what? It is a liquid. Now, next is what? Next is zinc plus silver nitrate. Zinc is what? Zn and silver symbol is what? It is Ag and nitrate symbol is what? It is what is the symbol for nitrate? It is NO3. So Ag will be written and NO3 will be written. Valency of Ag is 1 and NO3 is also 1. When they will be crossed, we will be getting Ag NO3 arrow. Silver, zinc, nitrate. What is zinc? Zinc is Zn and nitrate is what? It is NO3. And valency of zinc is 2 and nitrate is 1. When we will cross, then we will get Zn NO3 whole twice. Zn NO3 whole twice. Plus what is there? Silver is there. So silver is what? It is Ag. Now we have written the chemical equation. Now let's see that how we are going to balance them. Uh, let us erase the rough part which we have used for the calculation. This was our calculations means uh, how we make the formula here. Okay. Now let's see how we are going to balance the equation starting from the first equation. First equation is what? It is the CaOH whole twice plus CO2 will form CaCO3 plus H2. Here one atom of calcium is there and in product also. In product what is there? Uh, this is the product form. So we will write arrow here. So arrow will be here only. So we are going to make an arrow. It is CaCO3. Okay. So now let's see that how we are going to uh, balance. Now let's see here one atom of calcium is there and here also one atom. Means on reactant side and on product side only one atom of calcium is there. OH whole twice means two atom of oxygen and two atom of hydrogen are there. So two atom of oxygen here and two atom of oxygen here. Total four oxygen atoms. Now here also we can see that O3 means three oxygen atom and O means one oxygen atom. Three plus one will be four. So oxygen is also balanced. Calcium is also balanced and oxygen is also balanced. Now let's look for hydrogen. Here two hydrogen atoms are there and in reactant and in product also we can see that two hydrogen atoms are there. That means uh, what is balanced here? Here we can see that hydrogen is also balanced. Okay, so what do we have? We have only calcium, oxygen and hydrogen and all of them are balanced. So equation number one is what? It is a balanced chemical equation. Now moving on to equation number two. Let's see equation number two. That is B part. Zn one atom is there and Zn one atom is there. Okay, now Ag one atom is there, Ag one atom is there. Nitrogen one atom is there, nitrogen one atom is there. Now let's see for oxygen. In oxygen, three twos are six. Six oxygen atoms are there. But here in reactant side, only three oxygen atoms are there. So what we are going to do? We are going to multiply Ag and O3 on reactant side with what? With two. So, the, so that we can get six oxygen atoms there. Three twos are six. Okay. Now here two Ag atoms are there and here only one Ag means one silver. So what we are going to do? We are going to multiply Ag with two. So now we can say that this is